everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, got some great news. Uh, I finally got me an oscilloscope, and I'm very pleased with it. Um, I'm getting exactly what I need to know. Oh, where did I just freaking... Okay. So, let me do it with this hand a little better. I've got... There we go. I've got a good reading. I've got good measurements now. I've got a way of uh, checking my wavelength, my pulse width, everything. Uh, voltage, and it's basically it's just a tablet. Um, I took this uh, four prong. Let me I'll show you that. Let me pull these closer together a little bit so you can see my wavelength a little better from back here. And bam. Uh, it's my 555 timer. Um, very simply, um, all I did was two alligator clips wired over to the positive and negative. On, uh, now I clipped this off. This went to the other earpiece. We're not using that. We're just using the microphone part. Uh, I've got a hundred thousand ohms resistance going from the positive to the negative, and then to the negative, or I'm sorry, to the positive. I've got a 10,000. It's a 10 to 1. It's 10,000 ohms and 100,000 ohms. Uh, but, nevertheless, it's a probe. It works. It plugs right into my, my little tablet here. I'm sorry, guys. It is it's about 120 degrees in here in my shop right now. Very hot. But... Uh, my H bridge is complete. Um, if you'll notice, here's one output to a three phase motor, another output to the three phase motor, and the third output to the three phase motor. I've got my high input from the pulse wave modulator, which I'm going to use my Arduino Uno R3. Here's my low input. Um, here's my high input, my low input, and the same goes for all three. Uh, my high input goes to this 2N222. My low input goes to the IRF630. Um, which I show everyone the diagram on that. And that came from uh, Blue Robotics. It's, uh, it's from 2015. Uh, this is a gate driver and a H bridge. Uh, MOSFET driving and the MOSFETs. Uh, but it, that's technically it's it's an H bridge, and that's what I've put together here. Uh, probably going to have to get some little pieces of aluminum and put rivets on here to keep these cooled down. When I actually get uh, this part right here hooked up to this, but I've got to get some all thread and uh, oh, nothing special really. And my camera won't zoom back out. Alright. You can't really see how fast that's switching, but I can slow it down. And you notice my oscilloscope works. Um, works great. I'll speed that back up. Um, now I've got my duty cycle going in between 41, 42, up to 50%. 
There we go. 50% duty cycle. So <coughs> technically, it's it is working right. Um, it's not showing me a peak to peak. Um, let me do a uh, rise time and fall time. So I could record that, and I would have my rise time and low and, and fall time. Uh, which I know that I don't have my capacitance and my resistance uh, equaled out on here uh, for my 555P five, 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 uh, uh, integrated chip to have a, a stable, well, it's, it's working in a stable mode, but I need a peak to peak of the same width on the form of the, you know, the form of the the pulse here and as it is right now it's uh, it's a little off um, and I can show you here uh, if I can get it to work right there we go yeah see it's a little off here um, this is supposed to be just as wide as this and let me get it lined up right scoot it over just a little bit yeah so my, my pulse width modulation is a little off and it's uh, it's not exactly what it's supposed to be but no need to worry because that's exactly what we've got this for. Um, you'll notice down here your digital and your analog. See the 3, 5, and 6 has a sine wave on it. But, anyways, I'm not going to get into the, the six wires that need to go from your Arduino to your low and high inputs on your H bridge uh, and of course this right here is going to be my input uh, voltage and current which there's not really going to be any current coming in uh, but I just wanted to kind of give everyone an update right here I'm, I'm pretty happy I got this simple little oscilloscope and all I had to do was uh, wire some resistors to a wire and plug in a 4 pin see the negative is the first one and then the positive is the second one and that's the way I've got it on here it's paused right now I was going to put it on a, a little board but I figured zip tying it would be just as fine just as good Yep, very simple circuit, uh, but I love it. I love it. It gave me exactly what I need. Uh, I guess if anybody would like for me to show them how I did this, just let me know, and and I'll show you how I got an oscilloscope for pennies. It really didn't cost nothing. Almost, well, it was basically a free, free oscilloscope. Yep. All right, well, everyone have a wonderful day. Um, Progress is progress. I'm going to have this programmed out right very, very soon. And 